Welcome to this week's Social Sunday. In your kit, you will have watercolors, brushes, paper. From home, you will need a cup of water to rinse your brushes. To begin, we're going to make a nicely watered down color. I'm going to start with pink. So I'm going to water down my color a nice way to make sure that it's light. And then to start with my flower, I'm going to start making petals. And I'm leaving white gaps in between my petals to make sure that they are easily defined from one another. And the kind of flower I'm painting is like a tulip. each of these layers I have to let this dry pretty significantly because if I add more color now it will just mix and you'll get a bleed instead of a uh, another layer so I'll show you what that looks like so if I were to mix this color into here where it's wet it starts to bleed out see how the edges get fuzzy but on this because I want it to be a clear defined layer, I'm going to let it dry in between. Now that my layers are nice and dry, I'm going to come in and paint a shadow. So I'm going to decide that my light source is up here, where the tape roll is. So that means that if it's coming in this direction, it's casting shadows on this side. So I'm going to come in with a darker brush, more defined red, meaning with watercolors it's less watered down. And I'm going to come in and give it another layer. Now, if I want to add highlights in another color, I can go ahead and do that. And I think for that I would choose yellow. I might mix my yellow with a little bit of pink so I get a nice light orange. And I'll come in and add some highlights on this side. While we're waiting for it to dry, we can start to paint in our leaves. So I'm going to take my green, and I'm actually going to add a little yellow to it, because it's a little more green than I would like. I want it to be a little more yellow green than true green. Mix in a little bit of yellow. drying you can take your dark color and come in and make shadows and remember our light source is up here so that means that our shadows will be down this way I can go in and add any details that I want. So if I want my petals to have the little creases in the middle, I could add that. If I want my leaves to have the creases in the middle, I can add that. So I'm going to add this leaf. It's going to have a crease. Which means one side is going to have a highlight, one side is going to have a shadow. So this side this side's going to have the highlight. Once 
once you've decided that your flower is done, you can either make another flower and experiment with other ways of painting, like, for instance, leaving no spaces in between, and then adding your differentiation between your petals in your highlights and shadows. So, like, starting like this, and coming in and adding your shadows later, shadows on your highlights, or you can start with gaps and add in highlights and shadows in between so that you get different colors. You can start by adding in uh, flowers with centers and build your petals around that. There's all kinds of different ways that you can paint in watercolor. You can also experiment with painting in outlines, in dark shapes, and all kinds of other things. Have fun with it, and thank you so much for making with us this social Sunday. See you next week! Thank you.